Hello, welcome to the demonstration of data migration application. Today we are going to perform data migration from SQL Server to Snowflake with staging area as AWS S3. This is the login screen at URL dmuro.cloud. So I will enter my username and password here. New users can create a new URO account via the sign up now option here. Click on login to URO. We are directed to the home page of the data migration application. To begin creating our DM pipeline, we first need to create the connections. So we click on the connection here. For our use case, we need three connections, SQL Server connection, AWS S3 connection, and a Snowflake connection. So we come to the SQL Server connection and we see that we already have two existing SQL Server connection names. We are going to use this Risk Insight SQL Server US each two today. To create a new SQL Server connection, we click on the green plus button here. Here we need to enter all our details, the host name, the port name, the connection name, the database name, the schema, the user and password. These details will be used to validate whether our data migration application is able to connect to this provided details or not. Once the connection has been validated, we can click on the save option to save our detail. Similarly for AWS S3, we already have an existing connection which we are going to use in today's demonstration, which is AWS S3 URO America. To create a new AWS S3 connection, we click on the plus button here and give the corresponding details, validate and then save it. For Snowflake, we see we have six existing connections as of now. For today's demonstration, we are going to use Snowflake America Dev as the target connection and Snowflake America stage as the stage location. To create a new Snowflake connection, we click on the plus button here, give the corresponding details, validate and save it. Once our connections are ready, we go to the data migration homepage. Click on the plus button here to create a new data migration job. So we enter our job name here. SQL Server to Snowflake via S3 is our job name. We give a description name here. I'm going to click on using system. Our source connection is going to be Risk Insight SQL Server US East 2. Our stage connection is going to be the S3 connection. We give a corresponding path name here. Let's say migration SQL server. Click on the create option here. We go ahead and save it. And we go on to the next option. Here we get the list of all the tables in the MS SQL server table. This required option tells us which tables need to be migrated. So for example, let's deselect S cells, S sales, which basically says we do not need to migrate this particular table. So out of the 13 tables, we are going to migrate 12 tables. We click on the apply button here. We go to the next page. For stage connection, we are going to select Snowflake America stage. Let's choose the number of targets as one. For target connection, we are going to select Snowflake America Dev, and then we are going to save this. We see that our job has been created. Now, since this job has been created, we'll go ahead and run it now. Once the job is in running status, we are directed to this job summary details page here, where we can see a bunch of details. We see the number of tables that for which the migration has already started now. Within two minutes, we see that all our 12 tables have been successfully migrated. We also see the number of records that have been 
migrated from SQL Server to Snowflake. We see the data lineage here from source to target. And we see the summary of the job run. Because this job has run just once, so the average minimum and maximum duration are all same of 96 seconds, and the success rate is 100%. We click on the job log option, and we see that our job has been successful with the start and the end time as well. Coming to the Snowflake UI, we can validate the record count of one of our tables. So let's say we want to validate the record count for orders table. We see that it is equal to 1615. You can also have a look at the records. Yeah. So with this, we come to an end of our demonstration. Thank you very much.